I am Anil Kumar and in this set of videos we will try to understand how to solve quadratic equations. But before getting into that let us look into related terms. The question here is determine whether the given value is root of the equation. Now whenever we say root of the equation it means that solution of the equation or at times we say zeros or x intercepts right. So that value which will make the equation equal to 0. That is what we are trying to say when we say root of the equation, right? So different terms used here will be solution of the equation or roots of the equation. Now part A, B and C, we have three questions here. First one is x equals to minus 1 and the equation given to us is x square plus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, if x equals to minus 1 is a root, then substituting minus 1 for x should give me 0. That is what we understand by this. Let us try it out. If I substitute minus 1 for x square, I get minus 1 whole square plus 2 times minus 1 minus 3, right? Minus 1 whole square is positive 1. This is minus 2 and this is minus 3. Now that gives us 1 that is minus 5 so it is minus 4 right so this is equal to this is equals to minus 4. Now since it is not 0 since it is not equal to 0 we will say it is not a root. You get the point. So that is how such questions should be solved. You can do part B and C and then look into my suggestion. Now let's see how to do part B. Here we are saying t equals to 2 where the equation is minus 5t square plus 40t minus 60 equals to 0. Again we have quadratic equation standard form. Here the independent variable is t. Let us substitute t equals to 2 in the given equation. So we have minus 5 2 square plus 40 times 2 minus 60, right? So you can actually use calculator to do these calculations. 4 times 5 is minus 20. We have plus 80 and minus 60. Now this is minus 20 minus 60 is minus 80. So this is indeed equals to 0. And therefore, we say yes, t equals to 2 is the root, right, is the root of the equation. So this is fine. Now let's do the last one here, which is x equals to 1, and we are given the equation in factored form. Is x equals to 1 a root? If I substitute 1 for x, then what do I get? I get 1 minus 1 times 2 times 1, which is, let me write here, plus 1. Now here clearly 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have 0 times 2 plus 1, 3 and this is indeed equals to 0. And therefore we say x equals to 1 is the root of the given equation, right? I hope the concept is clear. Now at times we will also have questions where you may have to find the root and check the solution. So the part which we have done here is kind of checking your solution also, right? So keep these things in mind and then let us now move forward and solve some quality equations. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.